Hello, I'm Alex Moore. I'm Jared Chastain. I'm Zach Lum. And uh, we record the Strange Days podcast. And if this is the first time you're seeing our faces, I apologize. Um, probably quite the disappointment. Anyway, we're going to do a video series. And um, basically, some of our podcasts can be linked to things around our area. And a podcast we're about to do is on the Bloody Benders. We live in southeast Kansas. Well, Jared doesn't anymore, but he's from southeast Kansas. And I actually live about seven miles from where the Bloody Bender site is. And uh, today we're going to be on a quest to find the site. Basically, if you're unfamiliar, the Bloody Benders is a family, the first serial killers in my opinion. And uh, in 1870, they killed a lot of people. Um, basically they ran a general store, they'd sit someone down at a table and from behind the sheet they'd hit them in the head with a hammer, kill them, take all their stuff, bury them in the backyard. And uh, so we're going to find where it happened. Let's do it. Woo! Let's do it. So here we go. Tro <laughs> car trouble. <laughs> Alright, whoop. Standard, there we go. Yeah. Drive. And Dude. safety. Whoa, oh shit. my god. What was that? We hit a body. Seriously. That's a super deep hole. Oh my god. Well, how did you miss that back in the <laughs> <laughs> Location. We're somewhere north of uh, Highway 400 and east of uh, Highway 169, like 10 feet east. I hope we can actually get to it without like majorly trespassing. Okay, we're on the right track. You're down. Wah, 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 wah. Go back south. No, I'm right here. This way. Yeah. Oh man, we're in the backwoods. Dude, this is where the benders walked around. That's freaking me out. Just sinister intent. You know they found all the bodies? No. Like, there's gotta be. They said 21 went missing, but they only they only exhumed like 12, right? 11, maybe? What are you doing? Okay, we're on the hunt, and look at this stone wall we see over here. A lot of time. That's got to be really old, right? Yeah, for sure. And it just goes on forever. Pretty impressive. And what, if, what if it's just like to show the borders of their land and keep? It just took out to have taken so much time. So are we on the path to finding the benders? I think so! <laughs> I think so! Alright, so we're still... We still have this wall. How, how long have we been on this road? It's like, it's probably... By the time we get to that next road, it would be... Yeah, I'd say so. Incredible. That had to be John Bender Jr. John Gebhardt. Because no one in their right mind would think, yeah, I could saw up some trees for posts and tie it all together with wire. 
can put 55,000 rocks that could just be knocked over by a child as a protective barrier. One runaway tractor. If that's not a John Bender Jr. move, I don't know what is. <laughs> this is a picture of the Cherryville Historical Museum located on 215 East 4th Street in Cherryville, Kansas. This museum holds at least one murder weapon used by the Bloody Benders. If you see this photo here, the large hammer was positively identified to match the indentation in the victim's skulls, leading most to believe that this hammer was used in the murders. Yeah. We just saw a, a murder cabin, stabbing cabin, if you will. Seriously, what was up with that thing? What was that made of? Horse hair? <laughs> see that thing? The smaller yeah. one to the right? Just, you know, like the thing with the stop sign? Yeah. Yeah, it's rocks. Sandstone. What? Why? I wanted to get a video of it. Now we're just going to look like huge wussies. No. We can see people with guns. Yeah. yeah. We saw... Zach saw somebody in the window cleaning a gun. That's where we are. We're in the backwoods. In the back. It's a paid room. This is the shit yeah. Luke Bryan thinks he knows about. <laughs> he thinks. I love it. He doesn't know. Oh my god. Is that it? That's a pretty substantial mound. Yeah. Yeah. Notable for sure. Dude, there's a road that goes. Buy it. Isn't there? Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. There's a, guy, there's a car over there. What am I doing? I was. I'm not even getting the good shots. You're stopping short. I'm stopping way short. I'm scared. Like Frank Costanza. <laughs> Frank Costanza? On Seinfeld. Stop short. I don't remember. Oh, Frank the dad. Yeah. Okay. Man, I'm gonna get some hate for that. For asking who Frank Costanza is. Okay, what's up, fellas? Hey. So, uh, what do you think? I think we're looking at it. So, it just seems to be in the picture, like the first picture that comes up on Google. I think we're on the opposite side of what it shows. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. But it is of the opinion of the Strange Days podcast that this is the location right here. Where the Bender family killed. How many? Eleven. Well, they found eleven. They found eleven. But Who knows? what went missing? Like twenty-one, they said went missing. I th yeah, over twenty, I think. Man. Yeah. Wasn't a lot of records of them. It's not a cow or just like a... Did you guys hear a scream? I did. I heard a cow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a cow. Pretty sure cow. A cow's getting hurt over there. Listen for the scream. I mean, this road wasn't here. There could be a body right under this road. Okay, so I'm going to put it, we're within a square mile, right? Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. Square mile, there's got to be, uh, my bet is 10 bodies buried here. What do you think? Uh, over or under 10? Yeah, I'd go over. Jared's getting spooked. They were, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? Coming. <laughs> All right, we are at the marker, the historical marker for the Bloody Benders. Here it is. And uh, Jared, would you do the honors? Let's give a, oh, just with paragraph now? All right, I'll do paragraph two. Zach, you take the rest. All right. All right, the Kansas historical marker for the Bloody Benders. Near here are the Bender Mounds, named for the infamous Bender family. John, his wife, son, and daughter Kate, who settled here in 1871. Kate soon gained notoriety as a self-proclaimed healer and spiritualist. Secretly, the four made a living through murder and robbery. Located on a main road, the Benders sold meals and supplies to travelers. Their murders were carried out by use of a canvas curtain that divided the house into two rooms. 
When a traveler was seated at the table, his head was outlined against the curtain. The victim was then dispatched from behind with a hammer, and the body was dropped into a basement pit, later to be buried in the orchard. <laughs> As more and more travelers disappeared, suspicion began to center on the benders. They disappeared in the spring of 1873. Shortly before, inquisitive neighbors discovered the victim's body. The vendors are believed to have killed about a dozen people, including one child. Although stories abound, the ultimate fate of the murderous Bender family is uncertain. Some say that they escaped, others that they were executed by a venge vengeful posse. Their story is unresolved and remains one of the great unsolved mysteries of the Old West. Yeah, well, here's the thing. This is a historical marker, you know, and we are at a rest stop bathroom mm -hmm. for truckers. There's some lot lizard activity going on over there. Some D's getting nest. <laughs> Possibly, I don't know. Hey, there's no glory hole in the bathroom. So, you know, it's a nice bathroom. It really is. So we're at the junction of Highway 400 and 169 Southeast Kansas. That's where this is. I think that's gonna do it. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay, check out our podcast on the vendors. It's gonna be on soundcloud.com slash strange days podcast. That's right. What do you think, Jared? Find us on Facebook. Yep. Uh, Facebook.com slash slash strange days. Is there an Instagram? Uh no. We should. We can take a picture of this, put it on there. Oh, we could put our orb pictures on there. Yeah, you're. Yeah. You're the only one open enough to get them. I, you know, I open up. I let the spirits in. They come with me. We live in harmony. All right. That's all. You know what? It's been fun. Check out the, the rest of our video series. Um, we're going to be, be putting a lot more of these up. All kinds of stuff. Mosquito, Mosquito season. First day of spring it is. And, uh gonna be an action-packed summer full of driving the car looking at cool locations we will be back at least uh, next month with a video on the Crescent Hotel yeah. that's gonna be fun that should be much better than this one where I actually have stuff <laughs> to see so anyway uh, thank you all and see you later yeah.